going to start off with uh, uh, Mickey, Mickey Mouse, as it were, you know, the the one that's not going to acquire Apple. Uh, and the, the story comes to us courtesy of Deadline. Uh, there are a number of uh, mainstream outlets uh, pointing to this, but this this article was particularly good. Uh, the headline here is that Mickey Mouse hits the public domain, but don't expect to get a free ride on Steamboat Willie. Uh, he's really proud of himself there with that. Um, as of today, the traditionally productive Walt Disney Company will have to deal with an onslaught of Mickey Mouse parodies, mockeries, and likely rather explicit variations of the iconic character as it slips into the public domain. Sort of. In the sober light of 2024, Steamboat Willie, the 1928 short that effectively launched the empire that Walt built, can now be used by anyone and everyone. The legal status of Mickey and Minnie Mouse from Steamboat Willie and Plain Crazy from earlier that same year has been long fought over and probably not something to which Disney was looking forward to. Yet, in a year that also seems uh, Virginia Woolf's groundbreaking Orlando, Peter Pan, Charlie Chaplin's The Circus, Buster Keaton's The Cameraman, Tigger from uh, the, the, the Winnie the Pooh um, are all now in the public domain. And if you're anticipating a steamboat Willie free for all, well, think again. The article then goes on to talk about how uh, the lawyers are waiting in the wings because really it's just about the, that one thing with Mickey Mouse. So if it goes even a little bit beyond that, there are going to be all over people with the copyright thing. So uh, I think this is, I think there's a really interesting content and story here, but, but, but I want to get your take on this. What, what do you think about this being? Yeah, I had to do some reading are. on it because I, I thought it was similar to what happened with Winnie the Pooh, which is not the case. I it's mean, not, Winnie, it's different. Yeah. And, and Winnie the Pooh is not an original uh, Disney copyright anyways. So right. Th That's so right. There's a lot of difference there, but it looks like from reading this article and a couple other ones, I mean, you've got the Disney, Disney is lawyered up all yeah. the way up on this one and they are looking and we've already seen you and I talked about it before the show that there is already a steamboat Willie uh, or steamboat Mickey uh, horror show that's been shot that's right it's already yes. now i don't know Which if was in the can months before you got it's in the can that. months yeah. before but if it at all looks like the modern day mickey mouse um it's it's going to get shot down uh, yeah. I, I would be surprised if if anything comes to light because of the restrictions and all the things that disney has done over time to protect one of the, and they've done they've done a pretty darn good job uh especially yeah. with hiring mass amount of, of lawyers but right. where, what's the yeah. content play on your side well it's interesting because when you start thinking about it so what it brings up every year because this this story sort of emerges every year as because we're starting to get into the years where a hundred years later uh it the idea is is that we're we're going to see more and more and more media properties yep. come into public domain and and these are always just a reminder of it so steamboat willie aside because to, uh, to exactly to your point when you think about uh, the, you know, the, the idea of walking up to the dark cave and you can hear the lawyers, the Disney lawyers growling on the inside, that's enough yep. to dark, turn you away. Like you're not, you're just not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna throw that effort out there. Right. I mean, you just, why, why risk it? Right. But, but the, uh, the, what was interesting to me was the list of all the other things that are coming into public domain. And that's only going to continue in the years to come there's just more and more and more where it is a little more like winnie the pooh where the entire concept the entire story is in the public domain now mm -hmm. and you can retell that story frankenstein's and you know one that's been around for a long time which is great and you know at one point frankenstein was copyrighted you weren't allowed to make a, a you know a story of frankenstein but you can, of course you can now and many of those novels many of those and and now increasingly movies and characters are going to start coming into the public domain. And I think, especially as we start moving into AI, where you can start to have some of that stuff generated, I think you're going to start to see a lot more, and probably more on the consumer brand side, really start to exploit these things. These are great stories that are coming to life that can just simply be, you know, copied from a story structure and story standpoint. And applied with, you know, very similar that would normally get you into trouble, very similar characters, but 
honestly be, you know, the brand or, you know, whatever you wanted to do, right? You know, whether it's a movie, whether it's a show, whether it's a documentary, whether it's a, you know, a new, you know, take on things, you know, the, the, the Winnie the Pooh horror movie, that was, that was fun and interesting and weird. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I think you're just going to see a lot more of that. Well, I think, didn't we talk about in the past, like we, we as a content marketing program, you could go back to the, you know, the books that already That's, ran out of copyright yeah. and go back and, and, and we, put your logo on and said compliments of whatever company and send it exactly. to your list and say, we've been and, putting together the classics for you. We, we talked about that with the, um, the daily, uh, I think it was called the daily Dracula where the guy basically took the novel, which is now in the public domain and released it on X. I think it was, it was a daily tweet or a day or no, an email. It was a daily email. That's right. That you could subscribe to where you would basically get the novel fed chapters. to you one yeah. day or one week at a time. And, um, and, and, and basically you could, you could read or enjoy the daily Dracula and he got tons of subscribers and monetized it. That's, that's the kind of thing that I would see content creators doing and being able to take advantage of as sort of a side thing to whatever they're doing. Right. So if you're really like, Hey, I can't come up with anything else original. Let's just go back into all the stuff that's expired, expired copyright and see what we can leverage. That's and then right. you'll look like a yeah. marketing superstar. That's like, right. Look at this program I'm creating. That's right. It's amazing. Well, I mean, just, I mean, you know, as, as we, as we said in the, uh, as we said in the thing is Peter Pan, right. Mm -hmm. So comes to, uh, comes to, uh, uh, public domain this year. So how, how many ads are we going to see this year and how many pieces of content and marketing are we going to see with Peter Pan all the way through it? Right. You know, different versions of it, different renderings of it, different, you know, ideas of it, you know, and, and it's crazy. It's, I, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be, and this only continues to snowball as we get more and more into you know, the future, because now we're starting to get into things like films, not just not, you know, it was novels for a long time and uh, all of that, because this was, you yeah. know, you know, basically uh, 90, whatever, 90 years later. Pan's revenge, like some kind of <laughs> Pan's revenge. Horror. <laughs> Why is it Pan. always horror? Why is it always Peter, horror? Peter I Poltergeist. I don't yeah. what I don't know why yeah, Peter I don't know Peter. why <laughs> because Peter you I, because if it's horror you can get around I mean it's <laughs> nothing like what the company and what the trademark holder in the past would do so you don't have yeah. any like you'd never that's why Winnie the Pooh thing didn't have any problem because you'd <laughs> never expect a company like Disney to come out with <laughs> blood and honey the yeah. return well, of Pooh they would whatever never. it was yeah. Yeah. they would never mm -hmm.